Hey, I'm Garrett Wynn from Studio One Vintage Guitars and welcome to an, another instalment of In The Groove, our weekly deep dive into a record we've been spinning on repeat in store. This series is brought to you in collaboration with our good friends at On Vinyl, where you'll find a carefully curated and play graded range of new and used records, all available online at www.onvinyl.co.nz. Ed has wrapped up the first four instalments in our singer-songwriter series, and now I'm here for a four-week run of Americana theme cuts. Along the way, we'll be joined by some very special guest musicians. This week, we're exploring Coltable's debut self-titled album from 2017. There he is there on the cover, swallowing down a cigarette. Joining me in the studio are David Ward and Dave Kahn, two talented musicians who will help bring this album to life. Coulter, a singer-songwriter from a small town in the Saskatchewan region of Canada, is known for his unique baritone voice and vivid Western-style storytelling. This is his first full-length album followed after his critically acclaimed EP, Imaginary Appalachia, from 2015. The album was recorded in Nashville at the legendary RCA A Studio and produced by Dave Cobb, who'd recently worked on albums with Jason Isbell, Sturgill Simpson and Chris Stapleton. Unlike those albums, which feature polished, full arrangements, Coulter's album is sparse, emphasising his storytelling with a nearly cinematic quality through his signature voice and fingerstyle acoustic guitar playing. The instrumentation includes light percussion and the eerie pedal steel from the legendary Robbie Turner who'd been around for decades and was known for his work as a brand ambassador for Showbud steel guitars. Coulter will famously play small-bodied Martin guitars, usually with mahogany tops, and in particular favouring a 1937 vintage 00. He tunes this down a full step, but often, often uses a capo on the second fret, achieving an effective standard tuning but this technique results in a very loose set of bass springs that thump and slap with dramatic effect. It has become part of his signature style. And this approach also helps alleviate tension on the vintage guitar neck while contributing to the unique sound that defines his music. The album kicks off with 13 Silver Dollars, a semi-autobiographical tale about a run-in with the law in Speedy Creek, a nickname for his hometown of Swift Current. This track deals with themes of identity, defiance and the consequences of youthful rebellion. The chorus is thumping and sets the album's course with variations between rhythm and intensity of play. The song explores the tension between individual freedom and societal norms, highlighting the struggles of a young man finding his way in the world. Kate McKinnon is a murder ballad of the finest order, exploring themes of jealousy, betrayal and remorse, and I love a good murder ballad. The narrative tells the story of a man who murders his lover, Kate McKinnon, after discovering her infidelity. The song opens with these amazing lines. The raven is a wicked bird, his wings are black as sin, and he floats outside my prison window mocking those within. And he sings to me real low, it's hell to where you go, for you did murder Kate McKinnon. The song builds from quiet, methodical verses with simple acoustic guitar and pedal steel to a crashing crescendo with the introduction of dobro and a thumping kick drum as the song climaxes. The narrative structure emphasises the protagonist's descent into violence and the emotional turmoil that leads to this tragic outcome. The centrepiece of our discussion today is Ball Butte, the closing track on side two. It's an epic narrative that delves into themes of crime, retribution and the harsh realities of frontier life. The song is a vivid tale about Henry, a lone train robber who encounters a group of Confederate soldiers turned outlaws after their loss in the Civil War. They've jumped poor and they've gone up to Canada. They invite him to drink with them but end up robbing him, leaving him half dead with a cast iron to the brain. Henry seeks retribution by tracking down the former soldiers shooting them down and recovering his horse and possessions. He continues, Now he's back up in the saddle, back up on the top, when he felt that southern slug chew a hole right through his gut. He thought he'd killed them all, but he had not. So Henry's 
thinks he's gotten away with it, he's running away and all of a sudden, boom, he's been shot straight through the stomach. The song closes out with Henry laughing up his blood, singing, Bald Butte, Bald Butte, so lofty and so high, carry me to Bald Butte where the plains wrap round the sky, you can dig a hole on Bald Butte when I die. Musically, Bald Butte begins with a haunting acoustic guitar and drop C tuning, allowing the bass C note to resonate powerfully. The song gradually builds intensity with the addition of pedal steel, deep kick drum and dobro, creating a rich, layered soundscape that mirrors the unfolding drama of the narrative. The lyrics are filled with vivid imagery, portraying a stark, unforgiving landscape of Saskatchewan and the brutal realities of the outlaw lifestyle. The song's closing lines encapsulate its dark and tragic themes, leaving a lasting impression. Coltable's self-titled debut album stands as a remarkable entry into the modern country and folk music scene, offering a fresh take on classic storytelling traditions. His deep, resonant voice and minimalist arrangements bring to life stories of hardship, crime and the enduring spirit of the Old West. Wall's music captures the essence of rural life and the complex emotions tied to it, making his work both timeless and deeply resonant with audiences today. Since this debut, Coulter Wall has continued to evolve as an artist, with subsequent album releases like Songs of the Plains and Western Swing and Waltzes and Other Punchy Songs, further exploring his love for traditional Western themes and sounds. His most recent release, Little Songs, continues this journey, offering new narratives and rich musical textures that deepen his exploration of American and Canadian frontier life. Thank you for joining us for another episode of In The Groove as we delve into the rich storytelling and music of Cult of War. Be sure to check out these records at onvinyl.co.nz. Jump online and have a good look around Studio One Vintage Guitars. Until next time, keep spinning those records and exploring the world of music.